We need to talk about Devontae Adams getting charged with misdemeanor assault for pushing a photographer. Now, this discussion surrounding this incident has literally been insufferable, but there are some elements of it that could result in positive change. Now, we all know that this is a money grab by the photographer. We do. But that doesn't excuse Devontae Adams from what he did. He literally pushed a man down, and there was no reason for it. And to recap what happened, the Raiders were trailing 30-28 to 28 late in the fourth quarter. They were trying to come back. It didn't happen. Devontae Adams and Hunter Renfro collided at the end of the game looking like Keystone Cops, and people were putting their memes together and everything else. Now, Devontae Adams, who was visibly frustrated, slammed his helmet down after the game and everything. He's not used to losing. He was playing in Green Bay. He wins and wins the division every single year. And now his team is sitting at one and four. He's never been in that position. He hasn't even been on a team that had a losing record through five weeks since he was redshirting at Fresno State. And now he's arguably the best receiver in football, and he's brand new to losing. But that doesn't excuse what he did. Now, when he was in the process of leaving the field, photographer Ryan Zebley crossed into his field division, and then Adam shoved him to the ground. Now, we can debate whether or not Zebley put himself in a position by walking in front of Adams unnecessarily and walking into his path, but what we can't do is justify Adams shoving him to the ground, even though he immediately apologized. And he said, quote, sorry to the guy I pushed over after the game. Obviously very frustrated at the way the game ended, and when he ran in front of me as I exited, that was my reaction, and I felt horrible immediately. That's not me. Apologies. Man, hope you see this. And that that, that wasn't like a canned, uh, you know, agent, lawyer apology. No, that was a dude immediately after apologizing, and he did so in the postgame interview and everything else. But but was he did was what he did criminal? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And after the game, Ryan Zebley, he filed a police report, and they issued a citation for misdemeanor assault, saying that Adams did by an intentional overact, implicit bodily injury, or cause an unlawful offensive contact upon Ryan Zebley by pushing him to the ground with two hands, causing whiplash and headache, possible minor concussion. This is clearly a money grab, but this is a case of De Devontae Adams. He does have to take his medicine, whether it's a fine from the league, whether him having to pay fifty, a hundred thousand dollars in a civil lawsuit, or maybe even being suspended for a game. That's what's going to happen. Now, on the other hand, like I said, money grab. I've watched enough episodes of Better Call Saul to know that a police report like this is just a precursor to a civil uh, lawsuit and a settlement. And, of course, Devontae Adams is an NFL player. He's got it in his pocket. But if you have been on an NFL sideline, and there are dozens of people who are credentialed there looking for any and every way to capture what's going on in the game, in the moments, or just soak it all, all in. And when you're in the game as a participant, you know that your emotions are hot and heavy and that you are going through something that it takes a minute for you to come back down and go back to real life. So when people try to talk about the Draymond Green incident with his teammate Jordan Poole or this with Devontae Adams comparing it to normal life, if I did this at my job, well, your job is not sports. Sports is a different landscape. It is a different animal. It is adjudicated by different rules. And if I'm the NFL, I'm getting Ryan Zebley off the sideline and anybody else that is going to look, the, the first thing that happens, try to sue players. Now, granted, there should be some sort of legal recourse for, for him to, you know, for there to him to have to pay. But criminal lawsuit, dude, uh, criminal charges, stop it. Stop it already. Now, if the NFL wants to do something very positive in this situation, what it can do is it can make sure that the tunnel is clear for players after the game to make sure that, that people are not in their way and you know what? No player is going to lose sleep over it, and it's probably best for everybody. Let that sink in.